morning guys. Good morning guys. Mm -hmm. So guys, after our breakfast, we are going to pack up all our things and head home and this time we will take highway 3. We haven't um, taken highway 3 for all of our journey southwest, right? So this will be our first time. Yeah. So this is our first time taking highway 3 and let's see what's in store for us in highway 3. Good morning guys. So we ended up our uh, last tent camping for the year 2021 and we're heading home and this time mommy will be the driver <laughs> and I will be your vlogger. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So um, we will take highway 3 this time. We will see what's in there. Um, yeah. Are you gonna... we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hi guys, so the Provincial Trunk Highway 3 is a major provincial highway located in Manitoba which runs from Saskatchewan boundary to the southwest city limits of Winnipeg. We choose this route to discover the places along the highway. So guys, we're still in Highway 3. Uh, <laughs> Capital of no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is Banga, South Cotabato, the corn capital of South Cotabato. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can first see it there. See that? Oh, I, see. I don't know if you can see, guys, or lots of um, windmills there. So, guys, Manitoba has over 258 megawatts of installed wind capacity and is the St. Leon and St. Joseph wind farms. So guys, the Pembina Valley is the name given to the south central region of the province of Manitoba. Um, it is named for its geographical feature, the Pembina Valley, which runs through the southwestern part of the region. I didn't know there's a place in something like this. We were just amazed guys because we thought Manitoba is only a flat land. Uh, but here it is, there's mountain ranges. Okay guys, we didn't know that there's like a mountain here in the very so this is a they call it like a Pembina Valley. Look at that wrinkly apple. Yeah. And mommy is our driver. So amazed when you see like this place like wow. Just concentrate on your driving because That's it! We're back! This is our first time in Oregon. Yes. I think, I think so. Yep. Hi guys, congratulations to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations to her. She drove from um, all the way from, from Adam Lake, Lake to, to Morden. I'm gonna show you how long I've, tra I've driven, but we are now here in Morden and um, we are I guess at the Canadian. Daddy, Daddy said he's not really effective being a passenger because there's only a few videos that he was able to take. He got scared. <laughs> okay. But we're going to the museum. Okay guys, we're at the Canadian Fossil Discovery Center. Maybe they will be asking for our vaccination. 
So guys, the Canadian Fossil Discovery Center has the largest collection of marine reptile fossils in Canada, which is located in Morden, Manitoba. So this one is... Oh, wow. You see, in this is those are some black samples. That is similar to the modern penguin. Hmm? Hesperornis regardless. It's a diving bird. Oh, okay. Mosses. So guys, a dinosaur fossil has never found in Manitoba because it was an ancient marine environment. What's the name? Short naked It's also a box. Curis no Corisodon. It's Mosasaur. The Mosasaur was found here. This is so big. That's a big one. This was discovered in North Thornton, Manitoba. That is so big and so long. So this is also a Mosasaur. was discovered in Thornhill, Manitoba. Okay guys, Bruce is the Guinness World Record holder as the largest publicly displayed Mosasaur, which is bigger than the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is discovered in Saskatchewan. Tyrannosaurus Rex was discovered in F10, Saskatchewan. Of course, this was discovered in discovered in the Yeah, and it's an ancient bird. Thomas, this is Allosaurus. Well, those are the animals in the in that era, right? Those are the animals in that era. If we live in the during the time, maybe those are our pets. So we are here in what's the name? More than George's. George George's. George's kitchen, kitchen and, and ice, cream. ice cream. We stopped for a small lunch. So mine is a fire dog and Daddy is 
whistle dog. Whistle dog. Yeah, whistle yeah. dog. And Mark Thomas. How'd you like it? Chili? Spicy? Okay. Not very yeah. Chili pudding? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so we um, after a stop from in Morden, Manitoba, we are now really going home to Winnipeg. But anyway, did you notice or um, you noticed that we swapped or we switched? And it's now Daddy who is driving and me who is vlogging. Take the next left to stay on Highway 3, Manitoba 3 East. Signs for Carmen. <laughs> so, do you know why we switched? Because daddy said that he cannot make decent videos because his eyes is always on the road. Why? And so guys, our Highway 3 experience was unexpected. Beautiful valley, new discoveries, and of course, great memories. Till next adventure guys, see you. Bye.